Today I want to talk about the Cos KPH30Is. These are the best budget headphones you can find on Amazon for under $50. Now these will run you around 20 to 30 bucks on Amazon depending on the day and boy oh boy do they sound amazing. It's insane that you can get this level of sound quality and fidelity at this price range. So let's talk about them. Editor Mango here, just wanted to quickly say, you see these numbers, only 2% of y'all are subscribed. So if you could please subscribe, it's free and it would go a long way. Also, like this video if you enjoy it and let's continue talking about the Cost KPH30i. Smoke bomb! Right off the bat, I want to talk about the design. These are a full plastic design with a nice silicon headband. They have a very light clamping force and it feels like you're getting hugged on your head when you use them. The ear pads that the headphones come with are very simple. It's just a piece of foam over the speakers themselves. And they're great for short listening periods. However, if you use them for over an hour, you're going to feel fatigue and it's going to make your ears sore. So that's why you see these massive ear pads. These are Grado S1000 ear pads and you can find these on Amazon for 10 bucks. This is the only mod I've done to these headphones and man, are they revolutionary. They changed the way these sound and feel. I can now use these hours on end. I literally forget that they're even on my ears. It's awesome. Now, headphones aside, I wanna talk about the cable quickly. It has a built-in microphone, which is awesome. It's not the best, but it's surprisingly clear and it's usable, but I do not recommend it in gaming settings as it's just too far away from you to actually be a viable microphone. And the end of the cable is wrapped with a spring to help improve the longevity of these headphones. It's awesome to see at this price range that Koss is thinking about longevity of headphones. With that aside, let's talk about the sound quality. These sound phenomenal. I think the best way to show that is to listen to next Extra by Dead Mouse. It's one of his new house songs and it just really shows how good these sound. It's mind blowing. Of course, listen to some pop, some rap, any genre, and you're going to be surprised. You might be wondering, why am I talking about music? And it's simple. Music sounds amazing on these headphones. And if that's the case, that should also translate into games where games will now sound amazing. And frankly speaking, that's exactly what happens. I definitely feel immersed in video games when I use these headphones. And at this price range, that's mind blowing to be honest. For PC gaming, I love these things. I've been using these a lot for Valorant and CSGO. And it hasn't failed me once for detecting footsteps and enemies. I've been thoroughly impressed. So now let's go and see some demos. We're gonna see the mic and some gameplay in Valorant, CSGO, and Apex Legends. So this is what the mic sounds like on the Cos KPH30Is. It's clear, but quiet, and there is a little bit of a hiss. Now, if I bring the mic closer to my face, you're gonna be shocked. It sounds very clear. But again, having to hold the mic close to my face is an inconvenience, especially in gaming settings. It's good for those quick moments for talking to people in game, or if you're having a quick chat on Discord. I'm gonna play a quick casual game of Dust 2 with some bots, just to get an idea of what sound is like with these headphones. Honestly, already just hearing the Master Chief Collection sound in the background in this game, it just sounds so pretty. <laughs> Did you hear those, the reload sounds? It's so crisp and clear, planting the bomb. You hear all the crisp clicks of the bomb. It's pretty crazy, actually. Switching to the AK, you can literally hear everything so clearly. Like, hear this, the detail in just reloading the AK. It's crazy. It's, uh, these, these headphones really are sounding so good for the price. I can hear everything with on, clarity. It's awesome. Now we're going to move on to probably some Apex Legends, get an idea of what its sound is like in that game. Play some Apex Legends arenas with the cost KPH. Let's see what it's like. I hear shots on the right. There she is. Let's go. Very nice, very nice. And you get really good value for the money here, so I, thumbs up for me, that's for sure. Play some deathmatch and see how well I do. Later. Honestly, for freaking 30 bucks, these headphones are wild. Like, genuinely, I, it's like the audio level from my like $200 plus headphones. So it's it's crazy how much punch these are packing. Like I'm just genuinely blown away. You, you I really don't think you can get better value for the money than these. I friggin' love them. Uh, hands down. Like oh my god. And they're so light. Like I don't even feel like I'm wearing anything. No no head pressure. None of it. Just good old like just good headphones, dude. 
demos aside, let's quickly discuss a few cons of these headphones because it's not perfect. The first thing would be the cable. The cable is around three feet long and it's just not long enough. If your desktop is not on your desk and it's far from reach, you're going to need to get an extension cable for the headphones. That'll run you another five bucks. And also for most desktop computers, this will need an audio splitter as this is a three ring jack. You're going to need a splitter so that you can put it into the headphone and the mic inputs separately. That'll again cost you another five bucks. So that's another 10 ish bucks right there, which now leads you to the actual cost of these running you from 20 to 30 bucks now to 40 to 50 bucks, depending on how cheap you're able to actually buy these on Amazon. Those cons aside, these are amazing. I have loved it for PC gaming. Now you might be wondering, what about console gaming? And I have got you guys covered too. As far as my PS5 is concerned, connecting these with the controller has been a good experience. I'm not going to say it's mind blowing, but it's been good. I'm definitely able to hear everything, but it's not at the craziest high resolution that I would like. But again, from a Bluetooth connection of the controller to the console and then these connecting to the controller itself, it is a good experience and I recommend it for that as well. I've used it on my Switch and it's been a perfect experience. The Switch speakers suck and literally anything is better than those and this is no exception to that. All in all, I've had a great experience with these headphones. To be honest, these are an insane deal. You're getting a lot of sound for your buck and to see that at the $20, $30 price point, it's just, it's awesome. I've definitely been exploring a lot to see what I can find at these lower price ranges and to find something that is both cheap and high quality in regards to sound is just awesome. So if you haven't picked one up yet, I highly recommend you do so. This is Mango and if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Take care.